Hello, I'm Deborah Mead, and I'm usually in Dragon's Den. But today I'm in my own murder mystery. I've got no idea who's been murdered, who the suspects are, or in fact, what's going to happen to me. Um, so wish me luck. I'm off to Successville. Welcome to Successville, a town full of celebrities. Sometimes the famous faces who live here break the law. And when they do, I'm here to take them down. I'm D.I. Sleet, homicide, lover, fighter, husband to an ex-wife, father to a bunch of weird-looking kids, and seafood enthusiast. Hmm, cockles. Just having a cat wash, sir. Cat wash? Yes, yeah. a cat wash. Well, it's just when well, you haven't had a chance to shower, so you get a wet wipe and clean the old nuts and bolts. You look like shit. Oh, is that a rookie out there? Yes, yes, um, of course. Uh, Deborah, young lady, quick as you can, inside. <laughs> and meet uh, D.I. Sleet. He'll be, uh, you two can. Uh... Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Take a seat, Ms. Meaden. Oh, I'm going to take you for a series of ink blots. That's a butterfly? This isn't a butterfly. This is. is a guy no, with no a... fingers. So it's a fingerless guy yep. with his... No, that's a butterfly. It's not. It's a guy with no fingers. A lot Were you there? Were you mind. there when this was taken? I when was. you say that was taken, that's a photograph, is it? Were you no, there no, when the no, ink blot no, was done? No, that wasn't taken, was it? That's an ink blot. OK, Meaton. Were you there when this was I done? I wasn't. I was there. I cut his fingers off. Ooh. This is a guy's palms. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's a that's dancers. This is my cousin Alistair's penis. Uh, and ah. balls. Yeah, we covered it in ink when he was asleep one time and ah. just rubbed it on a bit of card. I don't. No, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I don't. I don't think when somebody shows you an ink blot, you can get it wrong. Yes, you can. Like, no, it's not a right it's or wrong. It's a guessing no, game, no. Meaton. No, it's not a right or wrong, is it? Right, Meaton. Here we go. I'm going to throw you into the deep end because I think you're such a know all. You know everything better than me, right? How do you think you deal with someone trying to jump off a building? Um, you talk them down. Really? You think you can do that, do you? Yeah? Let's see how good Deborah Meadham really is. My name's Jane Horrocks. I'm a local beekeeper. I'm down on my luck. You've got to talk me down from a big, tall building I'm going to jump from. <laughs> Jane, get off the building now. I can't go on like this! Now! My bees farm! How is you jumping off a building going to make your bees love Because no one loves me! How selfish your bees love you, don't they? No one loves... No, they don't. They don't come to my farm anymore. So you're not a beekeeper? I used to be. You used to be a beekeeper. I used to... Meaden, don't be clever. I'm trying to make this into... <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm jumping, I'm going! What the hell is going on? <sighs> Just a suicide exercise, sir. Oh, fuck me. Let him jump, yes, and let me get on with my day. That'll do, pig. <sighs> what? We'll move on. Did you just call me pig? It's just a police term. It's a oh, bit of slang. Fuck me. I didn't mean anything by it. It was just... How are we doing? Good? Yes. No, uh, great. Um... Not really. No? No. Right. We haven't really... I haven't learned anything yet. No, well, we haven't. don't worry. That's not surprising. No one ever does with him. OK. He's absolutely useless. Thanks, Meaden. I suppose you're here to set us up with a murder, sir. Afraid not. Um, there's no homicide. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do? If you could, I'd like you to get your ass up to Marsden Grange, please. Lady Gaga's place. Well, clap, clap, fucking clap, detective. Yes, somebody apparently has broken in and uh, cut Lady Gaga's topiary hedges into giant cocks. Quick as you can, get up there and take Tinkerbell with you. Sorry, so you just called me Tinkerbell. <laughs> What's wrong with the name Tinkerbell? <laughs> well, it's not my name for a start. What would you want to be called? A Deborah would be good. We'll call you Deborah. What, about what would you like me to call you? Sir. Sir? OK, I'll call you Sir. You call me Deborah. I'll okay. call you Sir. Well, actually, uh, is it a deal? Is yeah, it a deal? It's a... Oh. Ah! Yes, it's a deal! Come on, let's go. I suppose you want me to open the door for you. That would be right, lovely. Maybe I should clean your shoes too. Oh, now there's a good idea. Uh... Marsden Grange. 
the biggest pile and successful. Gaga's butler, Jay-Z, showed us in. Hey, yo, Lady Gaga, you have guests. Oh. Yeah! Uh, thank you. Hello. Well, I'm sure you know where the coats go by now. Yeah. No, that, that is not where the guests' coats go. We've talked about this, remember? It's all part of the... Would you... Thank you. Hello, welcome. Please do sit down. Welcome. Thank you for your hospitality, Ness. Not at all. Uh, uh, what a pleasure to have guests. <laughs> I'm D.I. Sleet. D.I. Sleet. From Murder Squad, Successful. Wonderful. This uh, is my partner. Uh, I'm Deborah. Hi. Is she speaking? Sorry, sorry. Deborah. 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 Beautiful name. We're here about the giant bushcocks. Oh, the bushcocks in the garden. What a fiasco it's been. Uh, we were just saying, me and Deborah, yes? what a lovely home you have. Oh, this old thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is only what I live in when I don't know where to live. Any <laughs> <laughs> chance we can ask her some questions? Oh, <laughs> Do you think? Just let it go. Give it a second. <laughs> Just as I thought, she's dead. My money's on that soup. Lucky enough, I brought along my poison kit. Meaden, are you okay to take a sample from the other go? Deborah Meaden. Beautiful. What are you doing? Is that a good idea? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog, I thought you were going to make my day. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No, I'm, not, I'm joking. I'm warming to you. Well, that's very nice of you. But just as I assumed, there's poison in this. What we've got here is manjaboo powder. Make a note of it. There's only one place you can get this. The Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands? Yes. The, the Galapagos Gal Islands. That's it, the Galapagos Islands. Okay. What do we have down there? Well, we actually have... What is that? Oh, my goodness. We have a last will and testament of Lady Bingo. Gaga. Bingo. Read Shall it out. I hereby declare that my entire £5.8 million inheritance goes to my niece, Lady Cheryl Fernandez Versini. Very interesting. Listen, my sweet angel. It's time these two little piggies went to the market. Two things wrong with that. <laughs> what? Sweet angel and little piggies. OK, what's your problem being called sweet angel? That's affectionate. It's affectionate and ever so slightly patronising. Come on, let's go. You're turning out to be quite a pain in the behind at times, Meaden. Bingo! A good old-fashioned murder mystery, with all the suspects under one roof. First up, Gaga's live-in niece, Lady Cheryl Veranda Pernini. <laughs> wow. You want to see what she says? What? She, she looks good. It doesn't matter what she looks like. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Don't make me get up. I've got a massive burner. The ice leader. I didn't know you was here. Well, hello. Pleasure. This is my new partner, Deborah Meaton. Pleasure to meet you. And you. Well, so nice to see you both. Would you join us for some tea? We'd love to. May I start by lowering the tone and offering my deepest apologies about the murder of your beautiful and luscious auntie? She was just everything to us, you know what I mean? 
She means so much. Oh, of course she is. So Get over here, you. Have a little cry. <laughs> stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh, sleep. It's okay. Oh, sleep. Cry now. Cry. That's it. I know exactly how you feel. It's been really, really hard, and I just, to be honest, I was so happy when I found out DIC was investigating. So how do you know each other? Well, we, we met. met. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a long time ago. Oh, it was, but... Just one second. Oh, of course, I'll just look over here. How, how do you know these people? Listen, Mina, I have fancied Cheryl for quite some time, and I'm actually getting somewhere here. She is all over you for yes. a reason. What's I'm the reason? Because she thinks I'm sexy. No, no. Sleet, okay. I didn't realise that you was together with Deborah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we are not together. Oh, We're not a couple. I thought but maybe if I was, I maybe if I was drunk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I was blind. <laughs> no, you've misread that. Cheryl. Uh, please call us Shezza. Oh, really? That's I... nice of you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, someone's been working out. <laughs> well, I like to pump I am. Ah, that's all mm. your pump, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl, have you been on holiday recently? Me? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't really travel, man. Don't have the time or the money. Oh, do you know what I mean? I, I mean, I'd love to travel. People always say, like, if you don't travel, it's like living life like a book that you haven't opened. And I guess it's like reading the contents of a book, but not getting past the first page. Yeah, I heard exactly what you said, and I respect what that. What exactly did Cheryl just say? She said something about travelling. So, have you seen Lady Gaga's will? I just want to remember her for the beautiful woman that she was. I, I didn't know anything about the will. Forgive, my friend, who's... Who's the only sensible one in the room. Listen, you're talking to her like it's one of your friends. You need to get those rosy-tinted glasses off your face and ask her some questions. She is a murder. Okay, so you want me to play tough? Let's play tough. Read out the will. Mm -hmm. Good. Read it out. Mm -hmm. But don't tell her I told you to do this. I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but you are simply delicious. Oh, stop it, Mike. I hereby declare that my entire £5.8 million inheritance goes to my niece. I'm so shocked. I had no idea. I thought she was going to leave it all to the butler. Why the butler? Well, he was so loyal to her. She loved him, man. No, it's you who's won the dead woman lottery. You have come on trumps. We'd better be going. There's a I'm very tired. Disorder. I'm so sorry. I, it's a really difficult Will time. Will you need a hand getting into your bed? No, she's absolutely fine. I think Probably. I'll be OK tonight. I need to be alone, but maybe tomorrow. Well, I'll take that as a promise. Thank you for all your help in the no, case. No, you, you've both been absolutely amazing. It's a real pleasure to meet you, Deborah. That's lovely, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the pleasure was all mine. Take care, Sleed. Oh, you take care. Think of me. Yes, we will. Did you want some buns? Oh, they're for Deborah. Oh, right. If I don't feed her every hour, couple of hours, she gets very tetchy. It was very interesting, wasn't was it? Was it? Meaden? Exactly. What did you learn? What I learned is this, Meaden. You can get very jealous. <laughs> As dusk fell, the murderer was still under this very roof. We had to stay close, very close. Well, uh, Meaden, please, would you indulge an old friend? I'm not sure. I don't mean anything perverse or naughty. What I was meaning is. Have I ever told you about the last few months of my marriage to my wife, Helen? Mm, was no. that you? Was that you with a bed? <laughs> no, no, that was me. <laughs> was it? That was... Was that... Oh, no. was that, that was you. <laughs> well, uh, let's yeah, keep well, that the... that was it. That was the... That was let's the, leave yeah. the covers where they lay just for a little bit. Let's let that thing work its way out down the bottom of the bed. <laughs> anyway, the story. Yes, back to the story. Helen couldn't stand being with me anymore. I don't know why. You know, I became homeless. I was living on a park bench. And one day I was taking a shit next to a badger's hole. This badger, 
he was just sitting there and I was wiped my bum and I pulled up my pants and he looked at me and he said, what are you doing with your life? Was he American? Yep, he was American. American badger. Yep. So I pulled up my socks and I went out there and I got a job in a police. And every day I think about that badger. So I went back to see him about three months back. Guess what I found? Some houses. Someone had built houses on the badger's hole. I then started really crying and then I smashed some stuff in their garden and they called the police and I ran away. Um, what is that the end? But yeah, I mean, that the end is why would anyone love me? Are there any other bedrooms in this place? <laughs> no, this is the only one. But you normally sleep in a car, are you not more comfortable? Not sleeping well, I in a thought, bed? how often do you get the chance to sleep in a bed? And then I gave half of the bed to you, something I'm slightly regretting now <laughs> since you've been sitting here <laughs> farting. <laughs> No, that wasn't me, though, was it, really? That yes, well, there, they who smelt it dealt it. And he who denied it supplied it. Well, I didn't deny it, you just did. Well, you just so turned me into a seven First of all, you smelt it, then you denied it. These are two bits of evidence that would suggest that you, Deborah Meaton, were the one who hold farted on minute, in this hold bed. Hold on a minute, I am 55 years and old. And you're sitting in bed I'm with a man. I'm a grown-up, and I can choose what I do with my life. OK, Meaton, should we try to get some sleep? Mm-hmm. Would you like to sing me a lullaby? No. No. And to be fair, your story was pretty rubbish. It ended with a dead badger in a housing estate and you smashing things in other people's gardens. Oh, well, so be it. Mm -hmm. Well, Meaden, uh, let's try and get some sleep. OK. Have you got a spare pillow? Of a crammer pillow. Let's do that. <laughs> After a generous continental breakfast, we met our next suspect, Gaga's house guest, retired scoutmaster Boris Johnson. Colonel Johnson. So it's true what they're all saying. She's dead, isn't she? No, no, she's fine. She's never been in better health. Lady Gaga's alive! Oh, no, not Lady Gaga. She's as dead as disco. I thought you meant Enid Pickles, an old friend of mine who works at the post office. An easy mistake to make. Bloody, bloody, bloody hell! <laughs> One moment we think everything's terrific, and then something like this comes along and it's been naughty for, for bloody six. I know you're seen a old geezer. Oh, this, by the way, is Deborah Meaden, my Hello. new sidekick, or call her Debbie or Debs, if that's easier. Deborah would be lovely, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. What luck! <laughs> you used to be um, a scout like me. Oh, oh, so this is a scout uniform? Yeah. Ah, OK, I've never been a scout because I'm a girl. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. Because oh. I love being a scout. Because, you know, the adventure and, um, the, you know, the... Um, the, uh, the woggle. Ah, the woggle, the yes, of the course. Woggle, the woggle, All right, that's enough of the kumbaya shit. We're here about murder. Because I thought the world of her, you, she was a terrific girl. And I suppose you ought to know that I was going to ask her to marry me. Ah, oh, damn it. This weekend, and I'm sure she would have said yes. I don't know what to do to get over the grief. If I was your old friend, I'd... I know, take a shit ton of drugs, cocaine, ketamine. It might put a smile is, on your that face. That is the worst piece of advice I've heard for a grieving individual. Meaden, shut up. She's a cheeky little boy, isn't she? Yes, she's a cheeky little fella. Thailand's a good place to go. Look, They're open-minded in Thailand. Have you been to Thailand? Perhaps we start asking Meaden? some questions about the murder. Right, are you? Do you want me to do it? Who was running this You're operation? Teaching, you oh, are you teaching learn. me. You I'm the learn. rookie. You are the detective. Okay, you want to learn? You just You're... right, Johnson. Had you and Gaga had sex before? Really? Well, imagine really. Had you had sex before? No, you just... Uh, had you had sex before? No, just touch... Had you had sex before? Just touching outside... Have you done it? Touch have you made love? No. Have you had sex? No. no. Good. Right, Dad. No, they didn't have sex. No. We didn't take, take him for a walk. 
please. Would you mind giving me a quick push and then... Go on, Mia, you can do it. Yes, yes. He's a good lad. Me with you, Brad. He's a good lad. Just down there. He's a good boy. Yes, he. Yes, good boy. Go. Boy. Go. Boy. Stop. Stop your listening. Hey, look what I found in this bag. Some ham and mustard sandwiches. There's also some other interesting things. A letter. Oh, le no, OK. Hold on. What the hell's this? What is this? Uh, that's a monocle. It, th it th if it's got a prescription lens in it, it's bound it, to be oh, Hold on something. a minute. You can't just take his stuff. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Read the letter, Eden. Dear, me. my dear Colonel, I know you intend to ask for my hand. I implore you to resist that urge, for you will only be disappointed. Well, looks like old lady Gargo is what we call in the police force a cock tease. Do you honestly think he's interested in girls? He doesn't seem to recognise a girl when he sees one. I tell you what I think we should do. We should return his items. Seriously, put that okay. back. Oh, Meedon, get off me. Meedon, <laughs> Meedon, get off me. Meedon. They're not yours. Meedon. They're not yours. Come on. Where are they? They're going back. Meedon. Are you proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. Like my bum, this case was getting hairy, and there were still two suspects to consider. The suspicious butler watching our every move and bedridden aunt Nicki Minaj. Look at this, it's some kind of sexy tomb. Reminds me of my ex-wife. Dusty, smoky, and smelly. What's this? Have a look. She asleep? I don't know. Asleep or dead? Get well soon. Okay, see if she's alive. I checked okay. Gaga, so it's your turn now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I'm so sorry. Why are you? Why are you doing that when people here could have heart complaints? I am so What's sorry. What's wrong with you? I can't remember. I don't know. I haven't seen people for so long. Are you real? Yes, we're real. Take a seat, Meaden. Oh my goodness. Wait there. Give me a five second. I, I shit myself. I actually think I've shit myself. Don't talk to me about shitting myself. I've been in the bed for eight years, okay? Oh Christ. Why are you here? <gasps> because my crazy niece Gaga says that I'm crazy myself. And so I've got to stay down here. I've got to stay down here. I've got to do what Gaga says. And I hate Gaga. I hate Gaga. I want to go away. I want to come away with you. Will you take me away? Jay-Z says that we can come. And when he sorts out his passport, we're going to go. And... What, what, what do you think's wrong with her? Well, what I just wanted her to breathe. Do you think she's having some sort of episode? She's such a monster to me! Okay. She's a monster! It's okay, it's okay. I hate Gaga! It's no, okay. I love Gaga! No, I hate Gaga! No, I love Gaga! No, I Nikki! Hate Gaga. Nikki! <laughs> Chill out, Nikki! Wait on! Wait on! Wait on! Will you two stop mucking around? We got a murder mystery to solve here. I mean it! Mean it! Help! Help me, mean it! Mean it! Have you got a condom? Oh, Meenan, have you got a condom? Hey, yo, what the hell is going on here? Mm -hmm. Sleek, get out of here. Miss Minaj, she needs a bed rest. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, Meenan. <laughs> you can come back at any time. Get off me. So can you, Marie. It's been real. Well, I think that was a dignified exit, don't you? Shall we just take some of the evidence and go, shall yeah. we? It's been lovely so meeting nice you. See it's you, been Marie. lovely, so lovely. Next time, don't wait so long. You can come back any time. You must be so Thank proud. You. What have I done? It was her, not me. You're you right, baby. Off you. I'm okay, Jay. After changing my underpants, I had to plan. I had Mead and drop a sleeping draft into the cup of the person she thought guilty of Gaga's murder. This was it. Time for us to serve up some justice. With milk and sugar. No going back now. One of you murdered this lady. So, was it the lovelorn old virgin who was a head over heels for Gaga? Or is it her angelic, sexy, gorgeous niece? Or was it Jay-Z, the suspicious butler? Or was it Nicki Minaj, the sex-mad hag? Deb, grab me a new uh, cup of teas as well, please. Bring them here. 
Deborah, can you get our cups of tea, please? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Should we all have a lovely drinky booze before we find out who did it? It's just a powerful sedative that I use on dates. I use it after I've made love to someone I have trouble getting to sleep after aggressive intercourse. Somebody um, died here? Yes, somebody has died here, Gaga. And you believe that the man who killed her was JZ? I do. Do you want to explain why? Well, you see, I thought it was Cheryl. There were three pieces of paper, two signatures matched on the Get Well card, and the letter, but I think that the two of you were having an affair. I think that he was trying to get you out from your downstairs dungeon, and I think that you didn't need the money. That was a complete, that was a setup of Cheryl. Because he was the only person who was actually able to be in the room at the time. He was up here and he dropped that will letter into that bag over there to make it look like Lady Cheryl had done it. Hi, what the fuck is going on? Hey, Chief. What's going on? What's that? It's just a powerful sleeping sedative I use called Nightshade. Not deadly Nightshade? That's exactly what I mean, sir. Oh, fuck me. Are you stupid? The clue is in the name, you pig dog. You've just killed him. Damn it. Who administered the dose? Oh, God. Meet him, sir. No, no, no Meet to him, be I fair, to under... Yeah, Meet him, I said to go in. Under your instruction. Meet him. Oh, 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 thanks for dropping me in. I don't Have want to hear this? it. I do not want to hear it, Meaden. When I met you, yes, I thought to myself, here, finally, is a rookie with a proper pair of bollocks. But you've really disappointed me today. The killer was Cheryl. Yes. Oh, God. I'm afraid so. Why? Because she was the only one who'd been travelling prior to the murder. There was a photo of her in the Galapagos Islands on holiday. Yes, the will was forged. You were absolutely correct. But it was forged by Cheryl. Uh... She was the beneficiary of Lady Gaga's fortune. It stood to reason. You made it too complicated. It couldn't have been Jay-Z. Why not? Because Nicki Minaj told you that he didn't have a passport. And when he sorts out his passport, we're gonna go? Therefore, he could never have traveled abroad to get the poison which killed Lady Gaga. You've just killed an innocent man. Meaden, you're fired. And for once, you're not the most stupid person in the room. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ow. Take her away. Oh, that's get off my man, no! Cheryl, I'll wait for you. I'll come and see you in prison and we'll make love. You idiot. I'm not the idiot. You killed him. OK, to be fair, I got this bit wrong. But in the last moments, you and me, what you call a sleeping draft, actually turns out to be poison. Meaden, it was an easy mistake to make. It doesn't say okay, on the label... OK, who made the mistake? If... You did. You, no, put you the... made the mistake. Who put the poison? You if are you my superior. Cheryl, you, you should killed... know more about if this you than I do. Cheryl... You should know... You are a police officer. You should know the difference between poison and sleeping drug. And I believed you okay, when you I'll said hand... that. Right, and, that's... and that I am the most stupid person in the room. Yes, I'm glad that you know that you're the most stupid person in the room. Remember our lookalikes competition? Well, Chris from Sheffield entered himself as a Slytherin-tastic Tom Felton dead ringer. We can barely tell which one's which. Cheers, Chris. <laughs>